Okay, welcome YouTubers. So, once again, we're looking at some parts for the beetle. As you can see here in front of me, what I've got is I've got some updated front end. So this is a two and a half inch drop spindle here. So the way that it sits up on the control arm, as it sits, oh, it's a bit hard to do. It sits like that up on the control arm. We'll show you that a little bit later. I just wanted to show you the difference between the original spindle, which is this one, and this part over here. Oh, sorry about the shaky camera. This part over here. Oh, went into this part in here. So down in there. So that's where it went to. So now what we have to do is measure the difference between the outsides of these two link pins here. As you can see, there's a little difference. So we'll measure that and then I'll go to the to the book and we'll have a look at the we'll have a look at uh, how many shims I have to put in. Okay, I'll give you to my camera girl and we'll go from there. So what we have to do YouTubers is to put a straight edge onto here, hold it up to there like so, and then measure across there. So I'll try and do this as we measure across to there. Camera girl can get in, you can see that it's seven mil. I've already measured this beforehand, so you can see there it's seven mil. So if we go to our book, yeah, the book here says offset 1959 and earlier models, offset seven mil, five shims A, B, C, and D. And on this side over here, it tells you where A, B, C, and D are. A, B, D, C. So, I mean, five in each, it doesn't really matter where they go. It's just so long as you get five. So we'll let you know when we have got it all together. Thanks, YouTubers. Bye. Okay, YouTubers. I'm just going to give you a quick demo on the parts that I got. So this is to put a front disc brake. Now these are all the bits down here as you can see bearings, seals and over here is the bracket for the brake caliper. The brake caliper is up here. There's the brake caliper. My, my lady's camera lady has graciously said that she would do this so here we go. Right hand side as you can see, I don't know whether you can see the R there, right hand side. Yeah. And away we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, when you go on camera, isn't that terrible? Yeah. No. Still haven't got it. All thumbs and as soon as I go on camera. All the nuts. So these go in here. And get done up with a new driver. This one goes on this side. I have to undo this one just a bit. Up nice and tight. 
Don't want this coming apart, that's for sure. Socket. No, wrong one. I don't know where my socket is. Which one are you looking for? This one over here. Oh. Right. One of those two. I had a second, eh? You've got to be kidding me. It's a long time. No matter. I don't want to stress this out too much, so on it goes. Don't pull it up too hard. Right. A little squirt of oil. Just to lubricate the seal as it goes on. One seal going on, make sure it goes the correct way. That would be a definite bonus. And then the bearing, the bearing which I've already packed, as you can see, bearing slides on. Right. And now we get the hub on. Hub slides on, and then we put the other bearing in. Hub on, and the bearing which is already pre packed. There, pop that up in there. Then we have a special washer with a little tooth on it. And in here, and this washer. And then my special, no, oh, oh, not my hands, my special aluminium nut no, that goes on here. All right. All right. I'm going to nip this one up to the point that it turns. It feels nice. Not too much, not too little. And then we take the brakes. Calibers and line them up, pop it in. Do this side up. Get my right, and now that we're getting this up, because you can't grab it now. up a bit oh, I don't want to go too much on that that's it there we go tight and tight okay and now we spin the wheel it seems a bit tight in there and there we go now just one thing One thing while we're doing this is uh, just to make sure that before you put the brake caliper on that you move your banjo fitting around so that this fits into the, the uh, bracket over here because if it pokes out down the bottom and you, and you try to put it in it's just terribly difficult. So just to make sure that we do that and then you see 
Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, no. Thank you very much, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. And one final thing to go on is my dust cap down here. So when I screw this in, that locking bolt, it'll just slide over there. Like so. I could do that for you if you like. There we go. Lock it up and pop it in. And then it's all buttoned up and ready to put uh, a wheel on. Thanks YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe.